Hello, this is Donna Lewis with the Clark County Park District again, and today is Nature's Book Nook. And of course, with Valentine's just around the corner, we're going to read a Valentine book, Porcupine Cupid. There's not a lot of Valentine's books with animals from around here. Now, porcupines are northern state, but not around here. So, Porcupine Cupid by Jason June and illustrated by Lori Richman. I am sorry if you hear voices in the background, but I am at the building today. It's Valentine's Day, Porcupine said. Oh, he's so excited. Look at all the hearts around the trunk, and he is smiling. Do you get that excited about Valentine's Day? Probably for the candy. Love is in the air. Oh, and look at all the animals around. Can you see the animals hiding behind the trees? So love is in the air. All right. Poke. Ow! I hope you find your one true love. Porcupine saying poke. Hey, a partner who will love you forever and ever. Porcupine crooned. So there he is poking his friend the raccoon and looks like a leopard. Oh, I should probably show that again. I didn't get a good look at the book. There we go. Poke, yowzer. Your soulmate, your perfect soulmate. Porcupine trailed. Poke, ouch. Porcupine's heart was set on fanning the flames of love. So now he's poked the rabbit and the bear. You don't wanna poke a bear. That's never a good idea. Poke, owie. Poke, don't. Poke, stop. That would be annoying. Poke. And he's still poking his friends and getting on their nerves. Utilizing your quills in such a way is rather bothersome if I do so say so myself. You must be stopped. Good day, sir. So the bear has had enough. So porcupine is thinking, what can he do? Town hall meeting to discuss the pokey porcupine problem. So he's trying to have a meeting with his friends. And who's the pokey porcupine problem? Well, he is a porky, pokey porcupine. I'd be a little annoyed. Can you believe this? Raccoon asked, he must be stopped, Bear said. Porcupine has some nerve, Bobcat growled. Oh, that's Bobcat. I said it was a leopard. He poked me on the bottom, Rabbit whispered in embarrassment. Well, that would be embarrassing. You don't want to do that. That's not appropriate. So they're not very happy with Porcupine. This is a catastrophe, a feline friend wailed. Need a hug, Bobcat purred. Oh, look. He got those two together, didn't he? Because they were both angry with him at the same time. And looks like he remedied it. They got together in their anger. Porcupine is unbearable, Grizzly grumbled. I know the feeling, Bear said. Oh, and look. Girl bear and boy, boy bear are together. It brought them together. A hair-raising experience, Hair Holler. Tell me about it, Rabbit Coo. Oh, and now the rabbits. Big heart above them. They must like each other. I guess that just leaves us, Raccoon said. It could be worse, his new pal giggled. Oh, and there's a raccoon with a crossword and one with the dictionary. I think they're a perfect pair. And look at the porcupine sneaking looking at them. So look at all his pals that he found a Valentine friend for them. Look, for them to hang out with. Rabbit and Bobcat and Raccoon and Bear all have somebody now. Porcupine side. <sighs> My work here is done. And then he's sitting there reading great love stories. Yowch! 
Oh, somebody got him. And then he finds a friend too. Happy Valentine's Day. So you think that was the end. So you think that was his plan all along to try to get his friends somebody to spend Valentine's Day with. All right, well have a great Valentine's Day with your family and friends. Stay safe and I hope you get some really good chocolate. All right, so I will see you next time at the next Nature Book Nook. Bye-bye.